What's up, my single chance and toxic gamers? Today we got news on GTA 6 trailer 2. The pre-order news. We're gonna check this video out. We're gonna get into the story because apparently my guy know the secrets of the Lucia Burna. Let's go for two likes on the video, guys. If you do not enjoy, you can always change it into a dislike. Rule but we also know that Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar Games' parent company, is set to have an earnings call not that long from now. So even yeah. though it hasn't been officially announced, it is projected that their Q3 2024 earnings release call will happen on February 4th, 2020. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Are real though? It is gonna be happening in the first week of February because it happens every single year. It, it's gonna be their investor call and in their last investor call, and I believe that happened in November and a day before that investor call, they did confirm that we're gonna see the GTA 6 trailer. They did not say GTA 6, but they said that the next Grand Theft Auto game ride, we're gonna see on December the 5th, somebody leaked the Lucia Burna and therefore they dropped it on December the 4th. But are they gonna reveal something this time? I'm surely gonna live stream, bro, for you guys, 100%, 100%. 24. But, but what about, what about trailer too we gotta get to that typically around these announcements not only will we get a better sense of what rockstar games might be up to thanks to the number uh, they're up to the money the gta plus the shark cars that, that take two interactive will release but we also might get some comments from the likes of executives and ceo strauss selnick on where the company might be heading in relationship to gta 6 if it's still looking like it's going to be at a 2025 release date when yeah, we yeah, yeah, what dog ain't no goddamn way bro ain't no goddamn way this game is not gonna come out in 2025. The fact that you just made a video, it might not even come out then. Oh, shit. It might come out in 2026. Guys, like the video if you hope this game comes out in 2025. I'm hoping for early 2025. What you're hoping for, let me know. Because if this thing is delayed the game to 2026, bro, I'm gonna blame you, bro. I'm gonna blame you. Might get you. more information and stuff like that. And let's talk about that because as things currently stand, we obviously, A, only have the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. One minute and 30 seconds of everything we know so far about the game and then a short description Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond, in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, coming 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and X. <laughs> That's all we have so far. So what's going to be happening? Yeah, that's all we have right now, bro. Uh, damn, man. I, I get it. That seconds one trailer, two seconds one the game, even myself included. But holy man, people want more though. People want more though. Like the video if you want to see the game early and you want to see the trailer too. But honest to God, bro, like I feel, I'm 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 grateful that we got to see the trailer. You feel what I'm saying? Because this is one of those games that Suckus didn't want it to believe. I, I know, like deep down, we knew it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But 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 you know what? Like there have been a lot of people that were like, bro, like we're never gonna get this game. And the fact that we got to see the trailer a month, it, holy f though. Oh, shit. It's been over a month we got to see the trailer, guys. Crazy, right? Time flies like crazy, man. Take care of yourselves, guys. Uh, kiss your loved ones, man. Or don't kiss your loved ones. Not Bruh. all of them, but but you know what I mean, right? Like, you you know the feeling, right? Like, love your loved ones, guys, and uh, uh, keep grinding, man, because time flies fast, bro. In 2024, well, I expect it's going to be a busy year for Rockstar Games. So for starters, trailer number two will be coming in the year 2024, because if it doesn't, I feel like Rockstar is going to have to just abandon ship on the 2025 release date. There's no oh way that they God. can have... Oh, shit! Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, I guess that's a good point right there, but, <laughs> yeah, if we don't get the trailer this year, if we do not get to see another trailer, the game is probably, most probably not gonna come out in 2025, guys, as sad as it might sound, and realistically, I, I do believe that we're gonna get the trailer, like, summer of 2024, that's when I believe it, personally, right, because if that happens then, then I can see the game coming out like early, early uh, 2025. If not, bro, like it's Joel, we're at that point. You uh, just pray to God, pray to Lord that they these seconds drop it late 2025. Because you never know, they might not, not even drop it late 2025. Oh, they might drop it in 2026. Have the game coming out next year and not have a trailer for over 12 months. Although that is roughly what we saw in Rockstar's previous titles, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, where the second trailer for both of those games took about 10 months to a year Crazy. in order to come out. Now, I think Grand Theft Auto 6 is a different Crap. animal all the way around because I really do feel like the game has been, been in development for a much longer time. And I feel like Rockstar has this title moving along the tracks a little bit quicker. And I feel like maybe thanks to some other factors like the pandemic and the leaks that occurred back in 2022, Rockstar have a more grand plan of when they're going to be doing things. But even if trailer number two does come out later on in the year, like closer to when we got 
trailer number one, November, December. I feel oh. like Rockstar isn't going to- Man, uh, um, it's over, bro. If it, if it comes out like September, October, or November of 2024, bro, that is like nine months away, though. That is like 10 months away, bro. We need that trailer right now, bro. We need that. F all of what I said before that, uh, you know, grateful for getting trailer one. Happy that we got trailer one. Uh, throw that out. Bruh. All of that, like, get mama, bro. We need to see their trailer too right now. We need to see the game right now. And let's be real, bro. This beat, dog, like, this is not even Grand Theft Auto no more. This is Get Theft Auto, bro. This is Get Theft Auto. That's what it is, dog. And this, this entire scene is most probably gonna take 150 gigs of space and the entire game is most probably gonna be 160 gigs Bruh. this alone is gonna take 150 gigs just because of how much this get is gonna take in space right like this is gigabytes of data you are looking at this is this chick right here five gigs this other chick 10 gigs this chick right here 20 billion gigs damn it this is gonna take a whole lot of space on your hard drive, guys. Prepare to, to just lose give us all nothing that. for the next 12 months. I feel like with Grand Theft Auto Online sort of winding down, we saw that with the last DLC, the Chop Shop. That was a pretty small update for a winter DLC. Typically, Rockstar have given us some massive expansions in the past, like the Contract Update or the Cayo Perico Heist or the Diamond Casino Heist. We've seen really big updates, and the Chop Shop was definitely not one of those. So with Grand Theft Auto Online sort of winding down a little bit, we know Rockstar is gonna have to fill the year with things to talk about. Now, speaking of GTA Online, even though it is going to be winding down, one thing I could see Rockstar Games doing in 2020. Yo, thank God it is winding down because if Yo, it was left to these seconds, these seconds would be, you know, stretching it to 2035, damn it. And on this uh, situation, right, that we got DLCs for GTA Online, we're getting DLCs content for GTA Online. Recently, we had a massive leak that happened. The source code leak, some of you know, some of you probably don't. Apparently, source code leaked out for GTA 5, and through that, we discovered Bully 2. Uh, Agent was in development. Alongside that, there were eight DLCs that were supposed to come out for GTA 5 single player. All of that canceled for what? GTA Online. Oh, shit. Oh, GTA Online. Shit. These seconds cancel so much content. Uh, and you know, these seconds could have dropped all that single player content for the game, for a single player, and also online. Por qué? Why you cancel, bro? Why you cancel for single player? And that, that left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Although I have to say, we don't have the full picture. We just have the leaked code from the source code and yes the leaks are real yes we even had artwork for bully uh not necessarily for bully um uh, maybe we had but i in my mind i remember seeing the agent uh, artwork leak out right and bully 2 obviously ign did confirm that it was in development at one point and canceled that's something that we heard years ago at this point so i'm truly hoping with gta 6 we get single player dlcs and whatever you got for single player throw that over in the multiplayer as well you don't gotta cancel single player dlcs for for online i mean like have it for single player and have it for online too damn it like come on dog we in 2024 y'all got billions and billions of dollars y'all got thousands and thousands of employees like come on dog and recently we had a demo video as well guys click on this video on the screen this demo video for gta 6 is looking very very good on the left though i got you all with a secret video check both of these videos out guys and i will see you right there